This is the 2014 presentation of the Missouri Athletic Club Herman Trophy Press Conference coming to you live from the Missouri Athletic Club right here and right now on NSCAATV.com and LockerDome.com slash Mac Herman Trophy. And we welcome you to St. Louis, Missouri in the Missouri Athletic Club built in 1915. This wonderful organization has been the host for the Missouri Athletic Club Award since 1986 for the men and 1988 for the women and the host for the combined Missouri Athletic Club Herman Trophy since 2002. We welcome you inside the doors of the Missouri Athletic Club. You see some of the great winners right there, including Alexi Lalas. Tonight, we will crown two more for the Mac Herman Trophy given to the very best Division I men's and women's female soccer player. And just to the right of where that announcement is where we will be for the next 30 minutes walking you up to the live announcement of the winners right here in St. Louis, Missouri. Hello, everybody. I'm Dean Linky, proud to be the voice of the NSCAA and thrilled to be here at the beautiful Missouri Athletic Club as tonight we will crown the female and male best in Division I soccer. Let's take a look at a big show here tonight from St. Louis. As we mentioned, both winners will be announced live. We'll be joined by Todd Yeagley, the Indiana men's soccer coach. He won it 20 years ago on the men's side. We'll have video of all the players and interviews with the winners and their coaches. Let's take a look at the finalists. First, for the men, Alex Bono just announced that he's going to go to Major League Soccer, the first Syracuse player to ever go to MLS. Andy Craven, 15 goals, 8 game winners, and Leo Stoles leading UCLA all the way to the championship game. Now we take a look at the three Women finalist Morgan Bryan, she won it a year ago, trying to become only the fourth woman ever to win it back-to-back -back years. Dagny Brinjar's daughter, all she did is lead Florida State to their first ever national championship. And how about Samantha Mewis, the star from UCLA? Those are the women's finalists. Of course, we couldn't do it without our fine sponsors here. Continental Tire, always proud to support NSCAA TV, as well as the Vincera Institute. They congratulate all of this year's finalists dedicated to the prevention, diagnosis, and treatment of core injuries. The Vincera Institute is the nation's premier medical facility for core muscle and hip health. Learn more at VinceraInstitute.com. And World Class Coaches Moving Families Initiative. You would never take the field without a game plan. Never move or relocate your family without a game plan to help your kids deal with the physical and emotional challenges challenges of moving. Learn more today at worldclasscoaches.com and click on the Moving Families Initiative link for parents. How about Locker Dome as well? And of course, we are here at the wonderful Missouri Athletic Club and remind everybody as well, next week in Philadelphia, it is the NSCA convention. Hope to see you in Philadelphia. When we come back, we'll be joined by the president of the Missouri Athletic Club and we'll take a look at video of all the players and talk to their coaches as well right here on NSCAA TV. You watch the match live. You road trip to the away games. You rise and fall with every run. Above all, you live your love of the game. Whatever you do, get there with Continental Tires and improve your grip with extreme contact traction. Continental Tire, for what you do. Each year, the NSCAA puts over 7,000 coaches through our coaching education program. Youth, high school, and college coaches at all levels participate in the diploma courses. No matter where you are in your coaching path, we have something for you. Join your peers and get educated. Better coaching, better players, better game. NSCAA Coaching Academy. Improving soccer, one coach at a time. Register today at nscaa.com education. 
Welcome back to the Missouri Athletic Club. Dean Linky now joined by the president of the MAC, Dean Eggerding. And, Dean, a big night. We're going to crown a winner for the female and male best college players. But first, tell us about the Missouri Athletic Club, a wonderful, wonderful organization. You know, I, I'm uh, honored to be the president of the club this year, and uh, the club's been around for well over 100 years, and uh, it's been a staple for athletics, specifically amateur athletics, uh, since the 1904 Olympics and, and, and onward since then with events like this, and it's just a, a great place, and uh, we're honored to have this uh, award ceremony here tonight. Some people call St. Louis Soccer Town USA mm -hmm. great connection, so it makes sense to put your name on this coveted trophy. Absolutely. You know, uh, uh, St. Louis is, has a long history of soccer, uh, and soccer has been a big part of a lot of members here at the Missouri Athletic Club as well. And uh, uh, it, it's, a, it's a perfect fit. Uh, when when uh, we started doing this award back in 1986, it's, uh, there, there's some really high-profile names that have, have, uh, have been the winners over the years, and uh, I'm sure tonight will be, uh, be no different. One of those names is Todd Yeagley. We'll join him in just a moment. Yep. Jim Wilson has been wonderful. Everybody's been great. Thanks so much for hosting yep. us. Hey, thanks for having me, and uh, thanks for being here. Really appreciate it. I want to thank the MAC president for being with us. 20 years ago, my main man, Todd Yeagley, won the MAC in 1994. Of course, he's now at Indiana where he won the national championship just a few years ago in 2012, played several years in Major League Soccer, and he is the featured speaker tonight with a Q&A with Bill McDermott, and here he is right now, Coach Todd Yeagley. Good to see oh, you. Indeed. 20 years ago, you remember the day. Talk about what it's meant to you, Todd. Uh, it was an unbelievable day. Uh, the, the format was a bit different because you knew you had won prior, so uh, just the room adjacent to us, um, the – the, the, the press conference, obviously there was a little bit less drama than there would be tonight, but uh, it was one of the coolest things I've ever been involved with. The whole weekend here, getting to know about the history of the club, um, and ultimately being in a group of, of players that I, I quite honestly idolized. Uh, many of them were, were Indiana players, but others from other programs that I knew and watched growing up being around the college game. So it was a little bit surreal for me to, to be the recipient. Um, I, I just didn't feel like I was in that group of, of great players. Uh, so it was very humbling and one of the neatest, coolest weekends that uh, I've been able to experience. Yeah, they do a great job here, and you'll forever be tied with a national championship. But i got to believe the fact that people always call you a winner of MAC will be something special to you, Todd. It is, and I, I love the fact that they've been able to bring the two awards together. Brian Mazenoff, my longtime good friend and assistant coach, he was the Herman winner that year, so we shared the award, and I still feel that uh, that's a pretty special thing that we have together. And, and yes, it, it was time for them to come together and, and, and bring both uh, traditions uh, to one. And it is, yes, to say that uh, actually one of my one of my sons realized the other day he found something uh, that they kind of talked about it, and he was like, Dad, you won the player of the year? I'm like, yeah, that's pretty cool, <laughs> it Dad. It was pretty good, yeah. yeah well, you're cool. a great coach now, too. Look forward to tonight. Todd Yegley, the head coach of Indiana, thanks for being with us. Thanks, Dean. I want to thank all of our sponsors, including Vincera Institute. They congratulate all of this year's finalists dedicated to the prevention, diagnosis, and treatment of core injuries. The Vincera Institute is the nation's premier medical facility for core muscle and hip health. Learn more at VinceraInstitute.com. I want to remind you again, the three finalists for the men's Missouri Athletic Club Herman Trophy Award. You see them right there. Alex Bono, Andy Craven, and Leo Stoles of UCLA. And what a run the UCLA Bruins had this year. As we're now joined by their fine head coach, Mr. Bruin, Jorge Salcedo. Good to see you, Jorge. Nice to see you, Dean. How you doing? Obviously a big year for you. Talk a little bit. I know a little bit of disappointment, but what a great run all the way to the national championship game. Yeah, I mean, obviously it was, it was a tough... Uh, Sorry about that, Jorge. Live television. <laughs> Is that all right? Yep, you're good. You know, it was obviously a great run in the tournament. And we were... Um, Hitting stride, playing really well, scoring goals. Uh, we had scored 11 goals in our last four games going into the to the national championship game, and unfortunately, in the, in the final, we couldn't uh, unlock uh, UVA's defense. And sometimes uh, uh, the result doesn't go your way, obviously, and unfortunately, it didn't in the biggest game. Well, big day for you here today, though. Is Leo Stoles one of the three? Let's roll to the video of Leo Stoles. And Jorge, as you take a look at the video, tell everybody why he is such a special player. And by the way, when we started on NSCA TV, we predicted a UCLA national championship and Leo Stoles winning the Mac Herman as well. But take a look at this young man. Why is he so special? Tell us all about him. I mean, first and foremost, I mean his just ability to to compete and for him to uh, technically be. 
um, the player that he is and the ability to, uh, to, find, to find his first pass, to, uh, to find his first and second option. He's really good and he has the ability to, to prepare the ball, uh, hold the ball up on, on both sides. He's technically good with his right foot, his left foot. Uh, and he's got a lot of poise. Uh, if you watch him play, he plays the game with his head up, identifies his options very quickly, and like I said, he's always making, to me, uh, the right choice and the best choice. Jorge, we did the game against UC Santa Barbara, or Leo Stoles hit an absolute cracker, one nothing win at Santa Barbara. Of course, the Santa Barbara fans were so mad, they're throwing tortillas at him afterwards, but I thought he was the best player on the field that game. Yeah, I mean, he scored a great goal from about 25 yards out against UCSB, left-footed, half volley. Um, you know, that was kind of a snapshot of who he is, you know, really composed finish, uh, a great strike from distance, and Leo scored a lot of really good goals for us over the last two years, and he's someone that obviously is one of the top players in the nation. Finally, Jorge Salcedo, a busy time right now, recruiting time, but you talk about the kind of player he is. I understand he's a great person as well, which is probably one of the big reasons why you're here to support him. Absolutely. I mean, Leo and I actually last year when we came here to the Matt Herman Award, uh, banquet, spent a lot of time together, really got to know him quite a bit off the field over the past three years and you know he's a fantastic young man no matter what he does whether he signs here on MLS or he signs in in Germany or someplace in Europe he's going to be a great success. Jorge Salcedo you're a great success. <laughs> Pleasure you. hanging out with you. Thank you. All right we're going to talk about another one of our great sponsors as Ian McIntyre will make his way in. World Class Coaches Moving Family Initiative. You would never take the field without a game plan. Never move or relocate your family without a game plan to help your kids deal with the physical and emotional challenges of moving. Learn more today at worldclasscoaches.com and click on the Moving Families Initiative link as we're joined now by Ian McIntyre. What a job he's done now in five seasons at Syracuse. A huge year this year. Good to see you, Coach. Obviously exciting for you as well. You guys are having trouble with the uh, – there we go. There you go. Is that good, Coach? A little better? We're Sorry coaches. We're normally, we normally <laughs> shouting, aren't we? This is uh, very uh, civilized. If you just get that sound piece up there. Well, Ian, first of all, I know you're very proud of Alex Bono, your fine goalkeeper. And I'm going to ask you to do the same thing. As we roll Absolutely. to the video of your goalkeeper, tell us why he is not only a finalist here but just got called in by Jurgen Klinsmann. Yeah, he's had a, uh, he's had a terrific uh, couple of weeks here. And uh, – no, he, he, he's such a big body, uh, very aggressive, but he's, uh, he's got such a presence back there as well. Um, we, he did a great job of, uh, you know, we threw him in the deep end as a freshman three years ago, and uh, he's done a, a, done a marvelous job of, of leading our uh, defense, our back line. Um, and just, uh, he, he's maturing, he's continuing to mature, and uh, has been, been outstanding for us. And uh, he'll be the first to say, we had a good group in front of him this year. Um, but when called upon those uh, big moments in big games, uh, he was there for us and uh, is a, a big part of, uh, of what we've done uh, this year in the last couple of years. You take a look at these highlights. What would you say is the number one strength of Mr. Bono? Um, you just saw there, he's, he's coming in traffic. Uh, he's aggressive. He's very clean. Um, and it's nice to have someone. We're not the biggest team the last couple of years, so to have a have a guy back there that, that can that can clean up. Um, but he's he's a shot stopper for a, for a guy his size, uh, uh, his agility, uh, and for him to get to a, from A to B very quickly. Um, and, and as you say, he moves his feet very well and uh, uh, and gets the ball away. Uh, it doesn't get stuck underneath him. Coming back on camera with the head coach for Syracuse, Ian McIntyre. Really a threat now in the ACC, ACC, Big Ten, two of the better conferences. I tell you, the folks in the ACC are talking about the job you've done at Syracuse. Oh, well, well thank you. It's, uh, we've, uh, uh, you know, our senior group uh, that's graduating this year uh, have seen uh, uh, us move from a team winning two, three games and and have, have, have had a you know had some successes last year. We realise we've got a lot of work ahead of us. Uh, we're certainly not the finished article, but with uh, you know if we can attract players of the calibre of, uh, of the Alex Bonos, uh, good good kids as well as outstanding soccer players, I think we've uh, uh, hopefully got an exciting future. Well said. Congratulations to you and to Mr. Bono. Good luck to Syracuse the rest of the way. Thank you very much. All right, Ian McIntyre, the fine head coach, as we thank more of our sponsors. You're watching here on NSCAATV.com. You're also watching on LockerDome.com slash Mac Herman Trophy. 
as we roll on here. Live from the Missouri Athletic Club in St. Louis, Missouri, as we are getting set to announce the winners for the Mac Herman Trophy, both male and female. Joined earlier by Jorge Salcedo, telling us a little bit about Leo Stoles. Just heard from Ian McIntyre, telling us about Alex Bono. And now we are joined by the assistant coach for UNC, who's actually got some St. Louis connections as well, talking about Jason O'Keefe and Jason with the Tar Heels. Now, you were in St. Louis for a few years as well, so kind of coming home a little bit for you. Yeah, a little bit. Uh, got up with Mike McGinty at SLU this, this afternoon for some lunch, so yeah. Glad to be back. It's a great event. Well, it is a big event, and speaking of big event, your player had a big year, Andy Craven. As we roll to the video, we'll let you adjust your headset as well just a little bit so we can hear you. Let's roll to the video and take a look at Andy Craven, and tell us what you see in this player as you watch this video here, Jason. Yeah, Andy's a tremendous you know, goal scorer. Just his instincts to get in behind the defense like that, and uh, you know that's what he does, puts it in the back of the net. But tremendous instincts, tremendous work ethic, you know, timing of his runs, uh, ability to beat players 1v1, uh, you know, and then get on the end of it uh, is, is really what, what his game's all about. Coach, 15 goals, eight <laughs> of them game winners, including down at clutch time. When you needed it, he was delivering. Yeah, he was, you know, two hat tricks, you know, several multiple goal games. Down the stretch, uh, I think he started the NCAA tournament with a hat trick. Then we went to Charlotte. He had the game-winning assist. You know, to Clemson where he his hold-up play really allowed us to finally get into a rhythm in the second half. And then UCLA hits the equalizer, you know, less than 10 to go and bangs his PK home. You know, he was Mr. Clutch for us for, for sure down the, end, the yeah. stretch. On the end of this video, you'll see the goal he scored against UCLA. Down a man early in the first half, fighting back. Not one goal, but two goals to come back and tie it up. You see the proud family of Andy Craven. I'll tell you, this is a guy who's overcome adversity. Not one, but two injuries, including missing all of last year to come back and have this kind of year. Yeah, no, it was, it was really, really exciting for him. <clears throat> I know last year was frustrating. That goal there, you know, beautiful ball in by Robbie George and just, you know, again, a pro prolific goal scorer, takes every chance he's got. You know, if he takes a touch there, uh, defender could block it, but, you know, the goal scoring mentality that he has just turns and hits it home. Saw that great goal of Andy Craven as we're joined here by Jason O'Keefe, the assistant coach. First season right at UNC. Yeah. Enjoying being back in the Carolina area? Yeah, no, it's been fantastic. You know, working with Carlos, Grant, and Chris, uh, the administration there is tr a tremendous university, obviously, and, you know, a, a storied program that I'm excited to be involved with. He's talking about Carlos Samuano, the head coach for the Tar Heels, as well as Grant Porter the assistant coach at UNC, just a few years removed from winning the national championship as well in 2011. All right, Jason, well, good luck to Andy Craven. All good right. luck to the Tar Heels. Thanks for being with Thanks us here. Lot, All right, we're going to take a break as we'll tell you a little bit first about the Missouri Athletic Club. The Missouri Athletic Club actually was opened in 1903. It's entered its second century already boasting a tradition of excellence unmatched by any other city club in the United States. The MAC is a St. Louis institution steeped in rich tradition and its main clubhouse located downtown right here at 405 Washington Avenue has become a city landmark. Time now to take a look at the three women finalists. The three women finalists here as we broke down the three men finalists for the 2014 Mac Herman Trophy. And you see them right there. Morgan Bryan, she won it a year ago. The star from Virginia now with the U.S. national team. Dagny Brinjar's daughter helped Florida State to a national championship. And Sam Mewis of UCLA. And what a year it was for the Florida State Seminoles and Dagny Brinjar's daughter, but their wonderful head coach, Mark Krikorian, in my view, one of the greatest coaches of the women's game without question, and he joins us now. Mark Krikorian, congratulations. I can now call you a national champion. How's that sound? Thank you. <laughs> well, what a run it was for you, and, and including beating Virginia, not once, not twice, but three times. That's not an easy task. Talk about the run you had, coach. Yeah, it was really good. Uh, we had a very mature team this year, and uh, I thought our players showed great consistency from the start of the year right through the end and uh, you know we had a, a great schedule we played against a lot of teams that were really good against some very good players and um, in the end um, with maybe a little bit of luck we were able to uh, to win the last game so it was a great run for us. 
One of the things that I liked about your team is you dealt with players that were getting called into the national team, including the Iceland national team. The game we called against Connecticut, Dagny wasn't there. Several other players were missing. You got down 2 nothing, didn't panic, came back with a big win. That was a big win early in the season. It sure was. Uh, I thought our kids showed some pretty good composure against uh, you know, a, a team from UConn that was – uh, really good on the day and uh, they had a good season in the end as well and um, you know we had to fight back we had to be resilient and I thought we were so you know missing some of those uh, top players uh, for international duty is uh, is all part of it but uh, our kids did a good job. Well Dagny's a big time player let's roll to the video I want you to take some time watching the video and tell everybody why she is such a special player as we roll to the video here now of Dagny Brinjar's daughter. Well, I think that, um, you know, Dagny comes, she has such a presence. Uh, just upon meeting her, you realize that she's uh, uh, big physically. She's um, imposing. Uh, her timing is very good. She plays box to box. And, uh, you know, she's very good in the attack. She's very good defending. And she scored uh, probably more big goals than they can the, uh, in the history of the program. And we've had some pretty good attacking players with Yamaguchi and Tim Picardi and so on. Take a look at her play as well one of the things that really allowed her to play so well is your defense in the back was so strong you've got another player that got quite a few votes as well for the Mac Herman trophy talk about the connection defensively midfield right up top yeah I thought that um, each of our lines of play were pretty strong this year and um, you know with the quality of defending and goalkeeping that we had it did allow us to to let Dagny have a little more freedom running in around the box and uh, she's a, a player whose timing is uh, fantastic and her presence in the air is really, really good. So, you know, Grupka is in the center of the back, and her um, her physical qualities, uh, uh, psychological dimension. Uh, Dean, you may remember the goal she scored to win the game against UConn. One, one of the of best. Them, one of the best goals. Anyone that's uh, in the NWSL that want to find out about the quality of Grupka, all they got to do is go look at that, and they'll see, uh, you know, why she's such a winner. And, uh, you know, all of these clips showing Dagny uh, – uh, creating and scoring goals um, you know that it's nice to watch and uh, she developed into uh, a dominant air presence great video here of Dagny Brinjar's daughter she is one of the three finalists they won a national championship for Florida State and Mark Krikorian while you're here as well Amanda Cromwell not able to be here for Samantha Mewis so we also want to roll some video of Samantha Mewis you know her very well at UCLA and as we roll the video of Samantha Mewis tell us about her and why she's now a member of the U.S. national team she's at least in that player pool as we look at UCLA Samantha Mewis. Sure S Sam Mewis is just an excellent player and uh you know, everyone knew coming out of high school that she was uh, a big, big talent and following her sister's footsteps. Uh, um, it, it, it was really obvious that she had the qualities, the physical qualities, psychological qualities to be a, a great star. And watching her development at UCLA over the past four years, it's, um, you know, she's a great player to watch. Uh, her and her teammates were, they had a fantastic run. Uh, a year ago when they, they beat us in the final, I thought that she was really good and they were really good. And when I had a chance to watch them uh, a couple of times this year, I was so impressed with uh, her presence in the game. And, you know, again, very similar to Dagny in a lot of ways. Um, both have great attacking qualities, great, uh, they, they make each, uh, the, the teammates better. And, uh, you know, this is one of those times where you, when you look at um, the three finalists, whoever wins is a deserving winner. There's no one that can, can complain about the, the winner of this award tonight. And Sam Mewis, I think she's a big talent. I think she's got a big future in front of, uh, in front of herself with the, um, with the U.S. team. And, you know, best wishes to her as she goes into, uh, this, uh, into the U.S. camp. And I hope it goes well for her. And that's where she is right now in camp as we congratulate Samantha Mewis as well and Amanda Cromwell. Mark Krikorian, congratulations. You're the head coach of the national champion mm -hmm. Florida State Seminoles. And, a great season for Dogney as well. Thanks for being with us here. Thank you. That has a nice ring to it. It does Thanks have a you. nice ring to it. You deserve it indeed. Mark Recoring, the head coach of the national champion Florida State Seminoles, is we also want to thank Continental Tire. Continental Tire, innovative technology, driving confidence. You can learn more at ContinentalTire.com. As we are here at the wonderful Missouri Athletic Club for the press conference announcing the winners of the 2014 Missouri Athletic Club Herman Trophy Award for both the men and the women. We've gone through the three men finalists. Also took a look at the two women finalists. Back again is Morgan Bryan. 
the fine star for Virginia. We're pleased to be joined by Ron Rabb, 14 years now as assistant coach for Steve Swanson. Was there for a while, left for just a little bit, back again, and another great year for you, Ron. Good to see you. Well, thanks very much, Dean. Pleasure to be here. Obviously exciting for to talk about Morgan Bryan because she's not only one of the best players in the collegiate game, she's one of the best players in the world I think we're seeing. Yeah, she's uh, she's had a, quite a career at Virginia. Uh, it's been a pleasure to, to have her with us for four years, and she's certainly uh, improved and, and become quite a player at the international level, and I think uh, the, the future bodes well for her and, and what uh, lies ahead here hopefully for the next uh, six months heading into to Canada. Well, Ron, as we roll to the video, taking a look at Morgan Bryan, who stars for Steve Swanson and Ron Rabb, among others. Tell us, as you take a look, break down her play, what makes her so special as you see her, particularly on the ball? Well, on the ball, Morgan uh, is technically just very proficient with the ball at her feet. She solves pressure uh, extremely well. Um, she, she reads the game. Um, she knows what she wants to do um, when she gets the ball, and as you can see there on the ball, uh, into uh, Mackenzie there. She's, she's capable of putting it where she wants and when it needs to be there. And it just helps her to be such an effective player for us, uh, both on the ball, um, but also in terms of helping uh, us as a team um, and, and finishing goals like that. I mean, that's, that's world class there. That was a fantastic finish there. Morgan Bryan has the ability to play a little bit of anywhere on the field. What's her best position, Coach? Um, <laughs> with the ball at her feet. Um, for us, you know, certainly uh, she played primarily as an attacking center midfielder for us. Um, but as you've seen uh, uh, with, with the full national team now, she's got some versatility to her game, um, and they've put her in a couple of different spots. But, um, uh, you know, I think that's a credit to Morgan. She can play in multiple positions because she's such a good uh, complete player and uh, you know we'll, we'll see where she ultimately ends up but I would think some place in the midfield certainly would be of course season. you saw both of the other candidates as well you beat mm -hmm. UCLA to advance mm -hmm. in the tournament and of course Amanda Cromwell starred at UVA yep. Samantha Mewis and then of course Dagny Brinjar's daughter talk a little bit about yeah. both those players uh, both those players uh, had tremendous years uh, you know Sam um, certainly had a tremendous career at, at UCLA and this year certainly led uh, UCLA through an undefeated regular season uh, in the Pac-12 there which is uh, no small feat um, and she's she's another player that uh, from an attacking standpoint is very good on the ball did a tremendous job of scoring goals assists uh, this year for UCLA and, and, and Dagny um, certainly has been a, a, a thorn in our side at Virginia having played against her here for for a couple of years and certainly this year they had some uh, some great success and uh, uh, one of the games she she did uh, get the game winner um, against us, but she she's she's a player that's uh, uh, a tremendous in the air, um, fantastic, um, uh, smart player, very good um, with the ball at her feet as well, and she's just capable of scoring goals um, as as we've seen. So. Ron Rab, the mm -hmm. assistant coach of Virginia, as we're counting you down to the final minutes, where we'll go live to the legendary St. Louis broadcaster Bill McDermott to break down the announcement of the winners. If Morgan becomes only the fourth female to win it back to back, how proud will you be of her? Uh, extremely. Uh, it's uh, quite, quite an feat uh, to, to win it once um, and certainly quite an accomplishment. Um, but to uh, uh, win it a second time, I, I think, would be a, a, an extremely uh, proud moment for all of us uh, at Virginia and Virginia Soccer, and certainly for Morris. Ron Rabb, congratulations on all your success, and to Morgan Bryan as well. Appreciate it. Thanks so much, Dean. All right, all right. thanks for being with us. Time now to thank our sponsors here one more time before we turn it over to Bill McDermott. Once again, Vincera Institute congratulates all of this year's finalists dedicated to the prevention, diagnosis, and treatment of core injuries. The Vincera Institute is the nation's premier medical facility for core, muscle, and hip health. Learn more at VinceraInstitute.com. And with that, from Vincera Institute, we would especially like to thank Dr. Bill Myers, Rita Griman, and Anne Marie O'Shea. All three of them will be at the 2015 NSCAA convention in Philadelphia for the College Soccer Coaches Social, the presenting sponsor of that event is indeed Vincera Institute as we thank them. Also want to thank World Class Coaches, Moving Families Initiative. You would never take the field without a game plan. Never move or relocate your family without a game plan to help your kids deal with the physical and emotional challenges of moving. Learn more today at worldclasscoaches.com. And how about Locker Dome? Helping us put this on the air today at Locker Dome dot com slash Mac Herman trophy we thank Locker Dome for also putting together those wonderful videos and of course couldn't be here without Jim Wilson and the wonderful Missouri Athletic Club our outstanding hosts all right time to turn it over live as Continental Tire we also want to thank 
here as well. And what do want to remind everybody about the NSCA convention coming up in Philadelphia as we're going to turn it over live for the live event. Good evening. Welcome to the Missouri Athletic Club here in downtown St. Louis. My name is Bill McDermott. We're here, as you are doubtlessly aware, for the presentation of the MAC Herman Trophy. I'm joined this evening by Dean Egerding. He's the president of the Missouri Athletic Club. MAC soccer co-chairs Annie and Greg Beekman, George Perry from the National Soccer Coaches Associated of America, and Jeff Wolf. He's the president at Anchor Packaging. He's representing Mr. Robert R. Herman, whose name is on this trophy, and he's representing the Herman companies as well. We're here to present the prestigious crystal soccer ball, which has become the pedigree, the trademark of this award to the top male and female soccer players in college soccer. So let's please welcome to the podium to get things underway. The president of the Missouri Athletic Club is Dean Egerding. Dean. Thank you, Bill. On behalf of the management and staff and the board of governors here at the Missouri Athletic Club, certainly want to welcome everyone. You know, the, the, the MAC has a long history of uh, being a part of amateur athletics, going all the way back to the Olympics back in 1904, and, and tonight is uh, just an extension of that, uh, being able to honor the top male and female uh, soccer players uh, in the country. So it's uh, wonderful to have them here, and certainly their families and coaches. Uh, that a number of them traveled a, a great distance, and uh, thank you so much for being here. Uh, we've actually been, been doing uh, this award since 1986, and uh, obviously it's, it's uh, named after Robert Herman, which uh, he is just an unbelievable ambassador uh, to the game of soccer and has been uh, a, a wonderful person to have his name on this trophy. So um, looking forward to hearing the winner here in a, few, in a few moments. So good luck to everyone. And uh, again, thanks for being here. Have, have a great evening. Thank you, Dean. The uh, finalists and winners were determined in voting of Division I soccer coaches who are members of the NSCAA, National Soccer Coaches Association of America. And over the years, this award has been honored with some of the biggest names, some of the biggest names in intercollegiate soccer. Mia Hamm, Christine Lilly, Cindy Parlow, Tony Miola, Alexia Lalas, John Harks, Claudio Reyna, all of whom all of whom went on to represent our country and had tremendous national team careers. So now let's find out who will win the 2014 Missouri Athletic Club Herman Trophy. In alphabetical order, here are the three finalists for the woman, women's award, excuse me, a senior midfielder from Virginia. She scored 10 goals and 14 assists in 18 games for the Cavaliers this past season. She's your first team NSCAA All-American and a first team All-ACC selection for the fourth time in her career. She helped lead Virginia to the Women's College Cup. That was the final for the first time in their history. She was the 2013 winner of this same award and she is currently a member of the United States Women's National Team. Please welcome from St. Simons, Georgia, Morgan Bryan. Morgan? Our next finalist is a senior midfielder from Florida State. She led the Seminoles in gold with 16 points with 38. She led Florida State to their first national program, first title in the program's history, first national title after telling two goals, three assists, and six postseason matches. She led the Seminoles to four College Cup appearances and three ACC titles during her four-year career. The team captain was named an NSCAA First Team All-American and the ACC Offensive Player of the Year. From Hedla, Iceland, let's please welcome Dagny Brynjus daughter. <laughs> and our third finalist is a senior midfielder from UCLA. In 2014, she led the Pac-12 in goals with 16, assists with 13, and was named the conference's player of the year. She led the Bruins to a second consecutive conference title. A two-year team captain, she led UCLA to a school record 44-game unbeaten streak that stretched from September 2013 to November 
2014. That's astounding. She is currently training with the United States Women's National Team. They opened up camp this uh, past Monday, January 5th. She's unable, unfortunately, to join us tonight. But from Handsome, Massachusetts, another finalist is Samantha Sam Mewis. And now let's welcome from the NSCAA, George Perry, for the presentation. George. Thank you. It is my pleasure to announce the winner of the women's 2014 Missouri Athletic Club Herman Trophy is from the University of Virginia, Morgan Bryan. This is such an honor. It's a great award and a great night that I think every single one of us is going to remember for, forever. And first, I'd like to congratulate Dagny on such a great season and Sam, who couldn't be here. They're great players, and I'm extremely um, glad to be in their presence. And you guys, are congratulations. Congratulations to you guys as well. Uh, I just want to thank the University of Virginia for allowing me to travel and, and play soccer and get such a good uh, education at such a great school. Um, I'd like to thank my parents for all the continuous support they've given me. Uh, my coaching staff, Ron, who's here tonight, um, they're great, and the support that I've gotten from them is amazing. Uh, I'd like to thank, last but not least, my teammates. Uh, this is such a team award, and I am grateful for the best teammates in the country. So thank you. Congratulations, Morgan. Well, let's move to the men's side. Here are the three finalists for the 2014 MAC Herman Trophy, again in alphabetical order. A junior goalkeeper from Syracuse University. In 2014, he started all 21 games, posted a record of 16-4-1 with 67 saves. He led an orange defense that ranked third nationally in goals against and led the ACC in both save percentage as well as goals against. He was a first team all ACC selection, and he was named the ACC Defensive Player of the Year. During this past season, he had two streaks of more than 400 consecutive scoreless minutes. From Baldwinsville, New York, let's please welcome Alex Bono. Alex? <laughs> Our next finalist is a senior forward from North Carolina. In 2014, he led the nation in points with 35 and game-winning goals with eight. Eight game-winning goals. His 15 goals were tied for first nationally. He was named the National Player of the Week three different times by three different media outlets. He earned first-team All-ACC honors and was an NSCAA first-team All-American from St. Simons Island, Georgia. Let's welcome Andy Craven. Andy. Our third finalist is a senior midfielder from UCLA. In 2014, he led the Bruins to the College Cup Final. He started all 24 games for the Bruins and led the team in goals with nine points with 24. He was an MAC Herman Trophy finalist in 2013. He was a first team NSCAA All-American for the second consecutive season and a first team All-Pac-12 selection for the third straight season. From Munich, Germany, Let's welcome Leo Stoltz. Leo. <laughs> and for the presentation of the Men's Award, let's welcome back MAC President Dean Everything. Dean. Thank you, Bill. I'm honored to announce the winner of the Men's 2014 Missouri Athletic Club Herman Trophy. The winner is Leo Stoltz. Yeah, I'm, I'm very honored to be here today and be one of the six finalists, three from the girls and three from, from, the, from the guys. And like, I congratulate the guys as well, well as the girls. And I thank the Missouri Athletic Club for hosting this amazing event here. I want to thank my school, UCLA, UCLA, my coach for coming out here all the way from LA, my grandpa, and of course my teammates. Thank you very much.
<laughs> that concludes our ceremony. Congratulations to Morgan and Leo and all the finalists, Dagny, Sam, Alex, and Andy, and enjoy your evening, folks. Thank you again for your attendance. You watch the match live. You road trip to the away games. You rise and fall with every run. Above all, you live your love of the game. Whatever you do, get there with Continental Tires and improve your grip with extreme contact traction. Continental Tire, for what you do. CAA puts over 7,000 coaches through our coaching education program. Youth, high school, and college coaches at all levels participate in the diploma courses. No matter where you are in your coaching path, we have something for you. Join your peers and get educated. Better coaching, better players, better game. NSCAA Coaching Academy. Improving soccer, one coach at a time. Register today at nscaa.com slash education. You watch the match live. You road trip to the away games. You rise and fall with every run. Above all, you live your love of the game. Whatever you do, get there with Continental Tires and improve your grip with extreme contact traction. Continental Tire, for what you do. And those, again, are the three finalists. Morgan Bryan just announced as the winner for the second year in the row, but we could not let Dagny Brinjar's daughter leave without spending a little bit of time with us. She joins me now here after the presentation. Congratulations on a great season, Dagny. National championship season. Thank you. How great was it? I mean, it just seemed like every part of your team came together this year. Yeah, we've been really close to winning national title all my four years, and finally... The team clicked this year, and we made it all the way, which was amazing. Now, you play for the national team at Iceland. What made you pick Florida State? A um, few other school. They emailed me, but I wasn't interested in going to college. But then my coach, Mark, emailed me, and I don't know. Something with Florida State was interested, interesting, and I don't know. That's why I picked it. Now, what about playing professionally? Are you interested in playing here in the United States or abroad? Um, no, I'll be moving to Germany tomorrow, okay. but I haven't signed yet, so I can't tell you where I'll be playing, okay, but all right. I will be playing in Germany. Well, obviously, you know Morgan Bryan well because you played Virginia three times, walked away with one nothing wins every time. Talk about the mutual respect between the two of you. Um, yeah, we've, we've been playing against each other, I mean, for four years as well, and she's just a great player and a future star for the U.S. national team. She's just the type of player who has everything. 
Well said, Dagny. You have everything. Great <laughs> job this season. Congratulations on the national champion. Congratulations on being part of the final three here. Thank you. All right, Dagny mm -hmm. Bringer, our starter from Florida State. As we roll on, remind everybody again that today's presentation is brought to you by Vincera Institute as they congratulate all of this year's finalists, including Dagny Brinjar's daughter, dedicated to the prevention, diagnosis, and treatment of core injuries. The Vincera Institute is the nation's premier medical facility for core muscle and hip health. Learn more at VinceraInstitute.com. Proud to present this year's 2014 Missouri Athletic Club Herman Trophy Awards and Morgan Bryan, the star at Virginia, now just the fourth player to ever repeat as the winner and just the fifth to win it twice as Kerry Hanks also did it with Notre Dame. You think about Cindy Parlow on that list and some other great players. Morgan Bryan joins me now. Congratulations. Back-to-back -back Mac Herman Trophy winners. Well done, Morgan. Thank you. I appreciate it. It's one of those things where I know you're on the U.S. national team now, but and you've done great things at Virginia, but for the rest of your life, people will call you the two-time Mac Herman Trophy winner. How do you feel about that? I think that's a pretty good name to be called. <laughs> but um, like you said, some of those players that have uh, won the award many times and a couple that have won twice have gone on to do some pretty cool things, and it's a great list to be among them and some of the players that I've really looked up to when I was younger. We're going to roll the video of Morgan Bryan, who starred at University of Virginia. And, Morgan, I definitely want you to soak that in because I know you had great times at UVA. Now you're moving on, the U.S. national team, I'm sure the NWSL as well. Are you excited about that next step? I'm really excited. I think that, you know, there's a lot of unknown in the future, and that's kind of fun to look forward to, especially with the draft coming up and possibly making the World Cup team in the summer. And I think it's a, you know, a girl's dream when they're growing up playing soccer to make a World Cup team. And uh, the next six months are going to be great for me, and I'm really looking forward to them. That's so well said because there's been some great times for women's soccer in this country. We all remember 1999, but you just feel like now with the build-up to the World Cup, in Canada, there's really never a better time for women's soccer at all ages right now. Yeah, especially with the World Cup coming up, and especially too with the last World Cup we had. I think that really grew the sport in America, and for us to have a, an outcome like that last year in the World Cup and, and come away with a loss is unfortunate, but I think it's you know made people aware of how great women's soccer can be in this country, and especially with you know, the people that got around and rallied around the sport at that point in time. I think it's just exciting for us to hopefully go out there and put on a good performance. I know you've talked about it before, but even growing up as a young girl watching Christy Rampone and even Abby Wambach and some of those other players, and now you're playing with them. What's that like, Morgan? It's amazing. I, I learned so much from all of them. And, you know, sometimes in the beginning when I was in the uh, with the team, I would pinch myself and I'd, I'd you know, I'd be standing right next to them, and I grew up watching them. They're my role models, and to be playing alongside them is, is amazing. It's a great opportunity, and I've learned a lot from them. Going back to Virginia again, Steve Swanson, Ron Rabb, your entire coaching staff, what have they meant to you? They've meant a lot. They have taken my game to the next level on and off the field. They've made me a better person, uh, especially, you know, off the field and a, and a better player, and they've taught me so much, and they've dedicated so much time and effort off the field that I really appreciate them, and I wouldn't be where I'm standing without them today. Last thing you said after winning it in back-to-back -back years was you thanked your teammates. You guys were loaded. I mean, it just seemed like everybody was putting the ball in the back of the net. What a great team you had. Yeah, both years. Even last year, we had an amazing team, and like I said, I wouldn't have been standing there last year without them, and I wouldn't be standing here today without them as well. Uh, we had a great team off the field. The chemistry was amazing, and, and it translated onto the field. And I was gone for half the season this year, and my teammates were great, and you know, a lot of them stepped up, and they had great seasons too, and you know, a lot of good players. And I think some of them, you know, are going to be here one day. Morgan Bryan, congratulations. Back-to-back -back winner of the Mac Herman Trophy. Morgan Bryan, going to take a break, come back, talk to Alex Bono, as well as the winner, Leal Stoles, right here, as we tell you about world-class coaches. World-class coaches, moving families initiatives. You would never take the field without a game plan. Never move or relocate your family without a game plan to help your kids deal with the physical and emotional challenges of moving. Learn more today at worldclasscoaches.com and click on the Moving Families Initiative link for parents as we thank Karen Turquest and Johnny Johnson from World Class Coaches. Take a look again at the three finalists for the MAC men's Herman Trophy list. Those are the women's right there. And there you see them. Andy Craven from North Carolina. Leo Stoles, he won it from UCLA. But how about the rise, incredible meteoric rise of Alex Bono 
the big tall goalkeeper from Syracuse who Thank joins you. me now. And Alex, exciting time. I understand you were talking to Jurgen Klinsmann just the other day. <laughs> you kidding me? It was uh, the last 72 hours have been pretty crazy. You know, it's some of the most exciting times of my life, and it's just an honor to be here. I'm really happy to be here. Happy for Leo. He really deserved this award. Well, you certainly deserve to be among the three. Syracuse, a fantastic season. Ian McIntyre, talk about what it's like playing for him. Unbelievable. You know, he's the best coach I've ever played under. He knows exactly what he's talking about. Really knows how to get the guys behind him, and he's a tactical genius, I will say that. You're the first Syracuse player to actually make the jump early to go to Major League Soccer. Talk about that decision. You know, it's one of those things where I've wanted to play soccer professionally since I was a kid, since I started playing, and I finally have the chance to do that. And when it was put in front of me, um, for me, that was all I needed, and I'm going to go live my dream. Roll the video now of Alex Bono in goal for Syracuse. Take a look at it as well. When you break down the video of yourself playing, what's your number one strength, Alex? Um, I think I'm a good organizer. I really do. I think I have good control in that back line, and, and that'll show. And throughout the season, we were so good uh, defensively. We, you know, we played three in the back instead of four. Um, it ended up working out really well for us, and I really kept command of those guys, and they really helped me out as well fine defensive work what was your decision when you thought about what college you were going to go to why'd you pick Syracuse you know I thought for me it it gave me the best opportunity to play the way I wanted to play you know when you go to a big time school usually there's a keeper established there and you have to wait a couple years at Syracuse I could challenge for a starting spot right away it, I was doing the major that I wanted to do and really it was the perfect fit for me close to home I really couldn't have asked for anything more one of the final three, great year at Syracuse. Call from Jurgen Klinsmann, Major League Soccer. Everything rolling for Alex Bono. Congratulations. Thank you very much. I appreciate it. All right, the big, tall Alex Bono as we recognize more of our sponsors here and want to thank the good folks at Locker Dome for helping put together this broadcast as well. Locker Dome, you can learn more at LockerDome.com, and we're right here at LockerDome.com slash Mac Herman Trophy. As we roll on here, take another look at the three finalists for the 2014 Missouri Athletic Club Herman Award men's finalists. You see Alex Bono we just talked to. Leo Stoll's the winner, but what a year for Andy Craven, a star senior season at North Carolina. Andy, good to see you. Great season for you. I mean, your big injury the year before. You come back 15 goals, eight game winners. <laughs> put it all together this year, young man. Thank you. Yeah. <laughs> what was the key for you? Oh, man. Just my team and staying healthy, really. Uh, incredible uh, medical staff and, you know, really took care of me this year and, you know, even last year. And just getting me here and getting me healthy. And Yeah, tell us what, why you missed your junior year. Tell us about the injury. I just ha I had an extra bone in my heel. That's it, just an extra bone in my <laughs> heel. <laughs> and uh, so they had to cut it out, so I had surgery and – wasn't anything major it's just something that need to kind of get put in my past and you know moved on had a great uh like i said alan aguilar is my trainer there and he's one of the, the just the greatest trainer i've ever had and you know really put me uh in put a good position together. to come back let's no. roll to the video here of andy craven as we mentioned on the season 15 goals including eight game winners as well as the goal that tied ucla down two and that is a goal that will show at the end of this. But I'll tell you what, big game Andy Craven, when they needed a goal, you delivered. I mean, that was key. <laughs> yeah, thank you. I just, my team, my team that was there and, and gave me the rock when I needed it and good spots. And, you know, we were able to, able to get some goals and get some, get some wins. That last year wasn't the only injury over you, you overcame. When you were at the College of Charleston, you also had an injury there, right? Yes, I actually, I tore my hamstring pretty bad while I was there and, and yeah, they totally took care of that here. And yeah, talk about the decision to go to Chapel Hill for your final two years, Andy. Oh man, incredible opportunity! I can't. I'm forever indebted to Carlos Simona, the coach there, and the the whole staff really for for uh, you know being able to bring me in to just a new and great situation with great with a great team and awesome players. Taking a look here at the highlights of Andy Craven, number 10. He's got that long hair. <laughs> Sometimes you let it flow. You usually tie it together, though, Andy Craven. Now, what, what are your plans now? I understand you're going to the Combine. Is that right? Yes, sir. My, uh, I'll, I'll leave tomorrow morning for the Combine, finish that up, and hopefully the draft after that. So those are my plans for the next couple days. Pretty quick turnaround. All right, well, I enjoyed calling your games. I live in Chapel Hill, so I saw oh, quite yeah. a few of your games awesome. as well. So congratulations Thank on being you. here.
Totally appreciate it. All right, Andy Craven, one of the three finalists. We're at the wonderful Missouri Athletic Club here in St. Louis, Missouri. They've been outstanding hosts. I want to thank Jim Wilson, their wonderful director of communications, for helping us put this together all the time. is good look here now at the Missouri Athletic Club from outside here in St. Louis, Missouri. A wonderful facility as you go around a beautiful athletic club as well. This building erected, you saw right there in 1915. You walk through the doors, it's just absolutely majestic. And you take a look at some of the former winners up there as well. Lexi Lalas, number 21. Tony Miola, the fine goalkeeper. Those two would team up as part of the 1994 U.S. World Cup team and roll right around the corner as well. And that is what Leo Stoles will be walking off with right there. You see the wonderful crystal trophy for Leo Stoles. He is the winner of the 2014 Missouri, uh, Missouri Athletic Club Herman Trophy Award. And Leo, congratulations. Thank you very much, sir. What a great honor for you. Come over to the United States from Germany, play at one of the prime colleges in the United States. Now you walk away with the nation's best player award. It's been, yeah, it's been overall like an amazing experience, like being at UCLA. I enjoyed it from day one there, and like if I could, I would do it all over again. Like I don't, like I like I said, like I had an amazing, amazing three and a half years in the United States or in, in college, and yeah, it's bittersweet to be done now. Well, that's well said. And talk about bittersweet, an incredible run for UCLA, making it all the way to the championship game, and then falling in penalty kicks. What a season though for the Bruins, for not just you but your entire team. Yeah, we had a, we had a really good season starting. Like especially, like we have to give a lot of credit to our defense who did an, an amazing job, especially in the beginning of the year when you usually give up a, a good amount of goals, and they helped us out big time. And then um, the freshman class this year was exceptionally good at UCLA with with all the guys coming in, it's like with a bunch of freshmen starting and. Yeah, it went well. It, it, it was so much fun playing with the guys, and I already missed them at UCLA. Let's roll to the video of Leo Stoll. So exciting to see him on the field. What a great season. We started, actually, right here on NSCA TV, Leo. On the very first show, we talked about the candidates for the Missouri Athletic Club Herman Trophy, and we picked you to win it, by the way. This was back in August, so okay. you delivered on that promise as well. Now, also, we called the game against Santa Barbara where you scored that unbelievable left-footed shot. You remember that goal? Tell us about it. Oh yeah, I remember it. I didn't know that you were broadcasting it. I'm very honored that you picked <laughs> me back then already. Um, against Santa Barbara, I remember like I tried to serve the ball to Shea, and it bounced back, and like I chested it down and finished with my left foot. Got a little bit lucky, and yeah, it, it went in. As you look at this video, when you came over from Germany, started at George Mason for one year, how, what was your English like when you first came over? Because it's pretty good right now. Oh, I, I really struggled at <laughs> the beginning. Like it was all way too fast, and I really had to focus to understand what people are talking about. And I, I didn't get like the little nuances in, in English. And now I feel like I'm, I, I am a lot more comfortable now speaking English now and talking to you. You sound great. When you thought about transferring to UCLA, what made you make that decision, Leo? Um, actually, that like, was my dad who studied abroad in, uh, in San Diego and from the very beginning on he wanted me to go to school in California. I, uh, I just missed all the deadlines for that and like, there were no scholarships more for the schools in California that I contacted. So I started off on the East Coast at George Mason where I had a really good time too. And yeah, my dad took me to, uh, to, to LA and Santa Barbara over Thanksgiving break and I liked it from the very beginning on and I'm very happy it worked out and Jorge accepted me there as a player. I'm glad you mentioned Jorge Salcedo because he is Mr. Bruin. I mean, here's a guy who yeah. as a little <laughs> munchkin was hanging around the UCLA program. What was it like playing with him? Um, the like key embraces the, the soccer side that, that Barcelona plays. Like he wants to play, keep, keep the ball on the ground, play short as much as possible. And we try to avoid long balls. Like he, d he doesn't hesitate to uh, ask our defenders to to keep the ball on the ground and to get the ball to the mid to the feet of our midfielders. And that helped me too a lot. Like to for, from the game, the way I play the game, like I think I fit fit very well into a system. And we worked well together the past three years. You are the winner of the 2014 Mac Herman Trophy. Congratulations. Thank you very Good much. luck in your professional career. Thank you very much. All right, what a great capper here to a wonderful evening at the Missouri Athletic Club. And we couldn't do it without our wonderful sponsors. We want to thank 
each and every one of them as we run through them right now. Of course, Vincera Institute, we, they congratulate all of this year's finalists dedicated to the prevention, diagnosis, and treatment of core injuries. The Vincera Institute is the nation's premier medical family for core muscle and hip health. Learn more at vincerainstitute.com. I also want to thank World Class Coaches, Moving Families Initiative. You will never take the field without a game plan. Never move or relocate your family without a game plan to help your kids deal with the physical and emotional challenges of moving. Learn more today at worldclasscoaches.com and click on the Moving Families Initiative link for parents. I want to thank Continental Tire. Continental Tire, innovative technology, driving confidence. Learn more at continentaltire.com. I want to thank the good folks at Locker Dome, located right here in St. Louis. Locker Dome, putting together those wonderful videos. Learn more at LockerDome.com. And couldn't do it without Missouri Athletic Club, an outstanding host since 1986 of the Missouri Athletic Club Award. And finally, the NSCA convention is coming up in Philadelphia as well. Philadelphia, that's just next week, January 14th through 18th. You can learn more about the NSCA and the convention by going to nscaa.com. Wow, what a wonderful evening here at the Missouri Athletic Club. Had an outstanding time in St. Louis. Want to thank all the wonderful hosts here at the Missouri Athletic Club. Want to thank Christine Mason for her assist as well. Everybody as the NSCAA. Emily is here as well. Want to talk about thank yous as you look at them right there. Our partners, Vincera Institute, World Class Coaches, Continental Tire, Amplified Soccer, the Missouri Athletic Club, and Locker Dome, all of the SID, Steve Vio and his entire committee for the NSCAA for not just the Mac Herman Trophy, but the All-America as well. And of course, Jim Wilson with the Missouri Athletic Club. Couldn't get it done without the great support of Joe Cummings, the CEO and his outstanding staff, Joe Valente and Valente Vision Films. I'm Dean Linke, proud to be the voice of the NSCAA, congratulating once again the winners of the 2014 Mac Herman Trophy on the women's side. Back-to-back, -back, Morgan Bryan on the men's side. From UCLA, it's Leo Stoles, and you saw it all right here on NSCAA-TV.